Hey guys, MTGX for fun here, and welcome to my newest commanders on how to build them with Krenko Mob Boss. This deck is really fun, and it's pretty cheap too. Now obviously, you can just build tribal goblins with a swarm tactic. However, the way that I had Krenko build honestly was more consistent, and can rebuild after a board wipe really easily. So the deck is basically a sacrifice deck where you build a goblin army and sacrifice them, and kill all of your opponents. So let's get right into it. Now this deck has less creatures than a normal Krenko deck because it is more dependent on the commander itself, not the creatures that you have. However, we use enough creatures to make the deck uh, versatile enough to be able to swarm too. Let's start off with the creatures we have. Obviously we're going to have things like Goblin King, Goblin War Chief, Goblin Chieftain, who buff your creatures so you can swing in for the win. Those are auto-includes. But we have some less common creatures included in this deck too. Let's talk about the, now let's talk about the tactic that I had hinted at at the beginning. So we need Sacrifice Outlets, right? We have two in the form of creatures with Skirk Prospector. This card is incredible on its own. Not only do you have a way to use creatures that you create beyond swinging, but you can convert it into mana. It reads, Sacrifice a Goblin and add one red mana to your mana pool. That gets really out of hand when you have 20 goblins on the board. Then we also have Goblin Chur Churigen, I think is how you say it. This card is good for keeping Krenko alive. It reads, Sacrifice a Goblin, Regenerate Target Creature. You can use that many token. Uh, you can use the many tokens you have to keep Krenko alive. Now, why sacrifice your creatures? Let's talk about that. The first card that I have is Rage Thrower. Rage Thrower is an uncommon from Innistrad. It's really bad in most things because it costs six. However, in Commander, in the right deck, it's crazy. Every time you sacrifice a Goblin, you deal two damage to target player. That adds up really fast. Next we have Goblin Sharpshooter. You can use it to ping something every time a creature dies, and then it untaps. Next we have Bogart Shenanigans. It's a goblin! <laughs> not, not exactly, but it's a tribal enchantment. It says whenever a goblin dies, it deals one damage to something. Again, using the goblins as cannonballs to bombard your opponents. <clears throat> the last and most dangerous enchantment is Vicious Shadows. Whenever a creature hits the graveyard, Vicious Shadows deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards in that player's hand. If they have 5 cards, you only need to sacrifice 8 goblins and they die. It's insane. Those are really good cards for a sacrifice plan. Now what if you want to just make a swarm deck? Well, I have that answer too. So include the aforementioned goblin lords, the two sacrifice goblins, Skirk Prospector and Churigan, and then include things like Goblin Lackey to cheat goblins into the field, along with Warren Instigator, which is a goblin lackey with double strike. Then include Caterwauling Bogart for the menace for your goblins. Now some staples in both versions of Krenko include Perforos, God of the Forge. This guy's incredible, and being an enchantment uh, when you don't have the devotion makes it harder to deal with. Two damage for every creature coming into play is insane. It adds up so quickly. Along with the along the same lines, Perforos uh, along the same lines of Perforos, sorry is Warstorm Surge, which deals damage equal to the power when they enter. And Impact Tremors just deals one whenever a goblin comes into play. Then we need ways to abuse Krenko, right? Take a look at Paradox Engine. <sighs> this card, I don't even need to talk about it. It's been breaking so many different decks and cards since its release. Sword of the Peruns and Umbral Mantle both untap Krenko <clears throat> to make more goblins. So this is the two ways that Krenko can be built. Like I said before, I like the sacrifice because it's more consistent. But it's up to you. What should I do next? Comment below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.